We all know the kind of person who walks into every room and just simply takes over. They just have this presence about them that radiates power and confidence towards the world and makes them seem completely unshakable. Really, the truth is that confidence is nothing more than truly accepting and embracing who we are. That's easier said than done though, so let's talk about the ways that we can all find the confidence we need to trust and focus on ourselves and be that bright and magnetic person no matter what room we are in. Get home. For most of my life, I was all but completely paralyzed by self-consciousness. I was non-stop anxious about the judgments I thought other people were making about me and I could hardly make any choices without worrying about how I expected to influence their perception of me. And for a while, I realized that because of this, I was basically never living as myself. Good morning everyone. So two days ago, I got my wisdom teeth taken out. So that's why I'm looking a little bit puffy right now. And it hurts a little bit to talk. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind that today. And that's why if you notice me eating really small bites of food today or eating mostly liquid foods, you'll know why. But in the end, today's video is all going to be about confidence, trusting in yourself and your instincts, stop relying on other people's validations and, and judgments, and stop letting the fear of judgments hold you back. Today, I think I'm going to take it easy a little bit, go on a walk, do a little bit of editing. Oh, and I'll show you my new journal setup for August. So, yeah, let's start our morning routine. Random thoughts, three in the morning. I know you some mouthwash I was prescribed told you everything by the I was living to achieve an image that I thought others would recognize as good and desirable, but because I was so obsessed with this, I never stopped to ask myself what I thought was good and desirable. I didn't reflect on who I really was as a person, what kinds of things mattered to me, and what I really wanted deep down for myself and others. I never stopped to ask, who is the real me? And at some point, I realized that this is what was holding me back from ever feeling or looking confident, because I was always trying to meet those super high standards that I imagined other people were holding me to. I could never look at myself in the mirror and truly accept and be happy with who I was. How could I be my authentic self and truly be confident in my choices and in the life I was living if the choices I was making and the values I was aspiring to weren't even my own? Confidence is authenticity and since I don't even know who I really was, I simply had no way of being my authentic self. First step in my journey towards confidence and authenticity was to let go of my fixation on other people's judgments and opinions. I want to start by making choices for myself to do the things that I wanted to do and believed were right rather than the things that I thought other people would like me for doing. And this doesn't mean that I had to stop listening to anyone else's opinions. Oftentimes, other people will have good advice or insights into your life that are difficult to see in your own and hold you accountable to your goals and values. And obviously, that's a good thing thing, but it does mean that at the end of the day, I have to make the choices that I thought were the right ones. I had to control my decisions and truly believe in my ability to lead my own life. I'm gonna try to eat a little bit of this crepe that Mike made. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. And that's the only way that we're ever going to believe in ourselves and build confidence by doing things yourself for your own reasons and taking responsibility for them. When I get dressed in the morning, the first thing I want to feel when I look at myself in the mirror is that I think that I look good. I want my outfits to empower me to reflect my own identity rather than others' expectations so that when I walk out my door, I can really feel like I'm showing the world my true self or at least the version of myself that I'm aspiring to be.
Take me home Go down the this leads me to my next point, which is don't be afraid to make mistakes, to mess up, especially at the beginning. Behind every success story is a long, embarrassing series of mistakes that you usually don't hear about. But making mistakes and most importantly, being able to learn from them is the only way that we can grow. They're not a sign of failure or a sign that you're not good enough. And the confident people that you see in the world recognize that, which is why they can accept and own their mistakes instead of being embarrassed and trying to cover them up. You can't compare where you are now as someone who is young and just starting out the world with the world's most successful people. That's just a recipe for feeling inadequate, lost, and ashamed. That's not where confidence should come from because there will always be someone out there who's more successful than you in some way. The only reliable place to find your confidence is within yourself in embracing who you are and only measuring yourself against your own standard, not anyone else's. If it stays in the room, spend the night the things to stay now. All the things that I do, all these little moments, I'm glad I get to spend them. People who believe in themselves and people who are not afraid to admit their mistakes will always attract other real, authentic people who recognize the value that they bring. Not because they're already successful, but because they're willing to learn from their mistakes and grow along the way. Alright, I didn't end up doing yoga today like I anticipated, just my teeth, my jaw, my head were so in pain from this wisdom teeth removal, but that's okay. <laughs> I just edited for most of the day and then also chilled in bed, tried to relax and tried to heal a little bit. Something that I wanted to mention was I really I want to emphasize the point of don't be afraid of the judgments of other people if you're not hurting anybody if what you're doing is motivating yourself like I feel like I used to be so scared of doing so many things because I thought people would think I was cringy or I was just scared of what they were saying and I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm more of a shy person in real life so it was really difficult me for me to start this YouTube channel and when I started I didn't think anybody was going to watch and I love seeing comments from you guys being like oh I just got a vlogging camera I'm so excited to start vlogging how you guys are also building your life up, building a routine and creating the best versions of yourselves. And also like, I wanna thank you guys for appreciating the vlogs that I make because I feel like I put my heart and soul into every single video that I make, every single short, every single long form video. And a girl has been very consistent and I literally try my best to not let you guys down. I post every single Saturday. I just want you guys to know I'm so extremely grateful for you. You guys have brought out so much confidence within me and so much optimism, so much positivity. You guys are such an amazing and supportive community that any YouTuber in the world will be lucky to have. So be confident in yourself, trust yourself, follow your instincts, and surround yourself with positive people as well. If you want like more daily motivation, you can go on my Instagram where I have my Becca's Besties group chat where I post daily motivating things in there, polls, quotes, affirmations, and reminders of when I post a new long form video on YouTube. So we can all support each other and help each other grow. Basically, that is my rant over. I just wanna say you guys have helped me build so much confidence within myself. And I love you guys.
nighttime skin routine done. I think you're cute, can I hit you up on Instagram? Cause you are the only thing I'm thinking of And I can't stop it, I'm wishing you And I were talking But even if we talked, I wouldn't know what I would say My social awkwardness would just get in the way And maybe I'm a little bit shy But I'll try my best to compromise Cause oh, I think I really like how you're always staring at your feet Pictures only tell if you're still struggling to find confidence, it can also help to try and think a little bit more about where your lack of confidence is coming from. Try to identify specifically what it is you're insecure about or what you wish was different about yourself, and then ask yourself what you can do about it. Sometimes when we're stuck with our insecurities because we're not willing to confront them, we don't want to admit that we don't like something or we don't want to do the hard work of changing it. But fully confronting and admitting to our insecurities is often the first step towards accepting them. Otherwise, we just live in denial about our insecurities even though we know deep down that we're not happy. In the end though, we just have to remember that confidence doesn't come from not having any flaws or imperfections, but owning them without shame. And if there are things that we should change about ourselves, then we can do them from a place of growth and ambition rather than self-hatred. Everyone has things they wish were different about themselves. That's unavoidable. But when you hide from them and try to cover them up, we can make ourselves look small and defensive. You should try to be open and accepting of yourself as free of shame and judgment as you can be. The best way to do that is to find people who let you be your authentic self around them rather than the people who make you feel like you always have to put on a mask just to fit in. That's how you find your true confidence. how impossible it might seem right now, you should never give up on one day finding confidence. It's not going to happen overnight and it might not always be comfortable, but if you really come to know yourself and learn to truly love and accept yourself for who you are, then nothing can stop you from becoming a confident, radiant, magnetic person who inspires other people rather than be intimidated by them. So when you wake up tomorrow, take that next step and tell yourself that you are going to take on and own absolutely everything in your life today. That's when I do Ooh, ooh, ooh.